First at 6, the Target 12 investigators bring you inside the mafia. In a court document obtained by Target 12, an informant claims a mobster wanted to blow up a Federal Hill restaurant in the early 1990s. The restaurant had ties to a powerful underboss who would later take over the New England crime family. The stunning revelation is coming to light just days ahead of a high-profile mob trial in Boston. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the exclusive details. According to the court filing, an FBI informant claims in the 1990s, mob enforcer Kevin Hanrahan was buying explosives, which he planned to use to set off inside a Providence restaurant. But Hanrahan was murdered before he could pull off his plot. Kevin Hanrahan was gunned down leaving a Federal Hill restaurant in September 1992. Investigators say the notorious gangster had run afoul of the crime family. According to an FBI document filed prior to an upcoming Boston mob trial, an informant claims Hanrahan was attempting to purchase plastic explosives from an individual in Boston known as Smitty. The explosives were to be stuffed in a briefcase and used to blow up former Federal Hill restaurant Euro Bistro, which had ties to then underboss Louis Baby Shacks Minocchio. This is exclusive Target 12 video of Minocchio from 2015 in an apartment above that restaurant. In another wild claim, the informant says Hanrahan also wanted to murder the mob boss at the time, Francis Cadillac Frank Salemi. Hanrahan was planning on attaching some plastic explosives to a remote control plane where he was going to fly it into Frank Salemi's bedroom in an attempt to kill Salemi and his wife. A spokesperson for the FBI and U.S. Attorney's Office declined comment. The document coming to light days ahead of a high-profile trial against Salemi and co-defendant Paul Wiedek. The pair are accused of murdering Boston nightclub owner Stephen DeSaro. Salemi and Wiedek have pleaded not guilty. Now, the document was filed late yesterday. That's when we saw it, but it was then placed under seal this morning because the government said it contained sensitive information. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.